Hello everyone and welcome to another video and welcome to the BMW 318H. So in the last video I had mentioned that the next video will be about a drive in this car. Well basically that is what it is happening right now. I'm sorry for the sun. I am going to give some initial impressions about this car although I must say that I have driven this car extensively like I've already driven about 1400 kilometers in about two weeks so yeah that's how much I've been driving this car and the first impressions are it's pretty good it's pretty good so what we're gonna do is basically we're gonna go on a drive and have a very quick first impressions let me show you how it is Hello everyone, let me just, oof, it's just too hot. Whoop, sorry about it, it's the seat belt. And there you go. Now that's first annoying thing. And I mean, it, it's, it's a feature, I get it, but it gets a bit annoying if you don't wear the seat belt and the warning just keeps going on. The first things first, I've come to this area called as Deba. It's a beautiful location just located outside the city of Fujera and as you can see behind me is the sea and you can literally take your car right up to the beach. Uh, let me just get my way out from here. My car is all dirty because UAE and the dust keeps blowing pretty much majority of the times as you may have noticed I'm in my spectacles because I'm driving and I need to be safe right there so the first impressions of this car and to be honest with you it's a it's a very very good car although starting off with it's got an engine which is about 1.5 liter three cylinder turbocharged and because of that it feels a little underpowered sometimes because let's say when you are about to overtake someone or you need power instantly it takes a while before the turbocharger kicks in but the power delivery is pretty linear and because the car is 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 quite heavy so the the engine feels very small which is by the way from a mini cooper yes the mini cooper engine which has been turbocharged and put into this so yeah that's basically the reason why this car feels a little underpowered sometimes especially when you're on a highway and considering that ua roads have pretty much all the roads are about 100 or maybe 140 so that that is why the power demand is quite a lot now we just stop at a junction now coming to a junction let me talk about another annoying feature so there's this auto cut off thing that basically when you're standing at a traffic light the 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 car the the computer on board switches off the engine in order to save the fuel so what happens is every single time that you stop the car just thinks that you are at a junction and it just switches off and it, I can make do with that as well oh. sorry about that but every single time the car thinks that you are at the junction so it just switches off the engine and there is a button that lets you basically override that system but the annoying part is the car doesn't remember every single time uh, okay so every single time that okay, let me just so every single time I have to switch it off whenever I sit in the car and that gets a little annoying because I want my car to remember oops a tunnel but anyways it's a tiny engine so we can't really hit it twice so so every time you uh, have to do that and the car just doesn't remember so every time I have to switch it off and the car wouldn't just remember now that gets a bit of 
annoying so BMW just make sure to correct that and the drive the handling is just amazing it is so precise I mean whenever I, I, I know I've driven different cars and especially the SUVs and when you drive an SUV you have a fear of rolling over but that's quite obvious but when you sit in a sedan I've driven an Ultima before and coming to this one I can feel a lot of difference in the steering because immediately the car points in the direction that you want although I would say it's it's a little less responsive and I sometimes don't know where, where what what exactly is going on when I am turning and for that reason the feedback is a little on the downside but all of that removed the car still handles really well especially on a on a roundabout or or or, or especially in UAE where you have a lot of roundabouts and at that speed I, I know I can go like 10 20 kilometers uh, compared to the Ultima because I think basically it's because of the shorter wheelbase and also the, the way this car has been designed now the, there are some com some manufacturers that make brakes so sensitive I mean the moment you step on the the, the, the pedal the, the brake pedal the calipers just grip the, the disc brakes and it just stops not in this case this one is very different now whenever you just brake so there's a there's there's like a softness to the pedal which I really like which is basically if you race you know that you know a softer pedal is what you want because you have a tendency at high speeds to to really push the brake harder than usual and if your travel is very less or if in another case if your brakes are very sorry if your brakes are very sensitive then it immediately just slows your car down but this car is really good it's really good i mean i was surprised at how how nicely the pedal configuration is bmw well done on that department seating i mean seating is nice i wish the the, the seats were a little more softer so you know on the long journeys it gets a bit tiring to be honest I mean I've driven this car non-stop for two hours and after after two hours I was literally tired so on that department I think yeah the seats need to be a bit more softer but anyways it can comfortably sit four people as you can see the bench seats behind they can sit five people but I don't think five people can really sit comfortably I mean four people is easily what you can make people sit in this car but five unless the fifth person is really slim one good thing is is that even though you're cruising at 160 the noise oh, the NVH levels are really low in this in this cabin again I've driven an Ultima and Ultima is not a really bad car considering that it's it's a huge car with all the comforts and safety features and every single thing but compared to this car yeah it was it was pretty noisy but this car is so quiet it's so i mean right now you 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 can't you know really think that i'm going at 80 90 kilometers but the the air the whooshing noise anything anything even the engine noise is pretty damn low so yeah i think that's a that's a good thing in that department so yeah i mean engine i can forgive like bmw because yeah this is like a base version of bmw and for that reason it it cannot be like that powerful and because the whole point of 318 is that it has to be a, a very affordable car so yeah that's i think pretty much it i think as we drive more and more i'm gonna come to know about all the different um, the features and the drive experience but these are just the initial few impressions about the the car uh, that oh it's so pretty it's so pretty I'm gonna take I'm gonna show you all in the b-roll the entire footage that, that you can see the view from here oh it's amazing there is another point so 
the fuel the fuel tank um i think it's a little bit tiny because considering it's just 60 liters and i i've had to fill it a lot if you go on a longer journeys although it does give you a decent amount of 13 to 14 kilometers per liter that's the average yes i've, I've, I've managed and this is kind of a mixed driving in the city and outside the city on a highway so yeah i mean considering that it's a very good car because again the, the the tiny engine is where this works so i mean the balance is really good so yeah um i think as more and more we start driving this car i'm gonna get more used to it i'm gonna start finding more use the more features more things that i don't like but apart from that right now i think this car is really good on a budget because let's be honest yes this is a budget car from bmw but it doesn't feel like a budget car because it's been made so well that you would you wouldn't really miss the the other features of the of, of the of the cars and also the 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 whole layout of this car is very good i mean i like less electronics you know distracting while i'm driving and it's pretty straightforward where you just press a button and everything is there you have just straightforward sports and eco mode and comfortable mode all of that so you don't really have to think about a lot when you're driving about how do i put the the modes on or like other cars where you have complicated electronic bits and where you have to really concentrate even if you want to change an fm station but in that case this car comes really alive i'm again getting off at the beach because i really like this view and i'm gonna sit down here for a while and just enjoy this view anyways i hope you've enjoyed this first impressions of my car and there are many more videos to come and uh, there'll be more of a detailed review but for now this is what i think uh, is good and bad about the car but overall i think it's a very good buy if you're planning to because you know bmw is pretty good with handling and that is what they are for make sure to subscribe because i'm gonna go on so many drives oops i'm sorry yeah because i've not put the car in park so yeah keeps reminding you so give it a thumbs up if you like this video and make sure to subscribe because there are more and more adventures going to come in this car and there are more collaborations with different people also make sure to follow my instagram facebook everywhere because i'll be posting all the updates and the photos of, of, of this car and various other events that i attend until we meet next time bye bye